We're on our approach to a Miwok Beach. The best way to get here is to park in the North Salmon Beach parking lot, of course, once it's open. And then you walk uh, north up the beach, and as you start to approach the Miwok Beach, you know you're getting there when you see all these rock clusters. These rock clusters will give you a good perspective on the intertidal zone. Up here, up toward the cliff, that's the high tide zone. It's the only zone that gets water only during high tide. And then the high, the, when it goes out to low tide, there's very little water in the high tide zone. Then we get to the mid tide zone, which is characterized by these rocks. And you can see lots and lots of mussels along the rocks. And then beyond those rocks, then becomes the low tide zone. So Steve, what's important about all these mussels and this mid tide zone? One of the things that happens here is the mussels provide food for sea stars. When I first started doing this tide pool program a couple of years ago, we were at the height of a die-off of the sea stars. It was very, very difficult to see any sea stars. You really had to get out and search and search and search, and then you would find maybe one or two. And then last year, almost incredibly, they were back, and they were back strong. Now, if you look down here, we have a virtual pile of sea stars here on the beach. And I've never, ever seen this before. So this is another indication of how amazingly these sea stars, for whatever reason, are coming back. And Bill is pointing out on this other big rock over here, even further up the beach, some more sea stars. This, this is, is the furthest up the beach I've ever seen the sea stars. This is just amazing.